right, you guys, welcome back to Plotty Strong. My name is Lorene. We are gonna use the magic circle today, which as you guys know, I love. I love all of it, whatever. So um, we're gonna work on our uh, sides and arms today. Maybe a little bit of back. Um, I thought, you know what, I, I'd like to work on my sides today, so I wanna do a video about it. We're gonna do some triceps, it's gonna feel good. Circle between your thighs, guys. Now, from here, I will, first of all, let's just grab the back of the thighs, curl back, and squeeze that circle a little bit, okay? Make sure it feels like it's in the right position. Now, for some of you, if you're like super tight in your groin and your hip flexors, I would do this without the circle. And in fact, you can use the circle to sort of curl back and then come up. So just uh, stretch out your spine like this, just kind of rounding it back and then coming back up. For the rest of you, squeeze that circle. Now, I feel it um, in my inner thighs and in my abs, which is where you want to feel it. So feet are grounded. They don't lift here. Okay, you can grab back to your thighs. Let's just curl back, curl, curl, curl. There's gonna be a few of these to warm up. And then round, come back up. And then when you come to the top, you're gonna sit nice and tall. All right, so this is like one of those movements that I find are so boring in Pilates, let me just tell you. Look, I teach Pilates, I love Pilates, but it can be really boring, okay? So really, so really focus your curl back. So I'm, <laughs> My point of saying that is that even though it is, these exercises are super important to have a healthy body, okay? So don't not do them just because they're boring, okay? Curl back, and you guys know I like to incorporate this stuff with all my workouts, and squeeze that circle, bring it back up. So you'll feel when you squeeze that circle, how much your abs engage. Now you can try to do it with the hands off, do a few more here, and then round, pull, scoop, 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 sit nice and tall. And then curl back again. Woo, try to keep the head in line with the spine. Hopefully I'm doing that. And then curl it back up, nice and tall spine. Two more times, guys. Curl, round, scoop. If you feel this in your low back or it's like too advanced for you, put a little squishy ball behind your back. One more. And let's go all the way down. Why not? And take the circle with you. Woo, okay. So from here, what did I just touch? I touched something, I don't even know. Arms are gonna reach overhead. We're gonna continue with our warm up. As you inhale, take the arms back, exhale, bring the arms forward, scoop the abs, reach the legs long. Now, I'm gonna tell you guys something, okay? I have had <laughs> teachers tell me that when you do a roll up, your legs are not supposed to move forwards and back. Um, hmm. Well, when you roll up, they are gonna roll forward a little bit because you're rolling along your spine, your pelvis position is changing, okay? So it's totally fine for your legs to slide forward and back. Your legs, however, should not, and this is the thing I see most often, is as people roll it up, they end up rolling, coming up here, which is fine. That's where I was before too. So if that is you, put the ball behind your back to support yourself and just go down halfway and come back up, okay? That's how you're gonna learn getting this. The start with where you can roll down to, and then as you get better and better, you move the ball higher up, higher up, higher up, until finally you don't need a ball. Exhale, curl, 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 scoop, 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 good. And then sitting back up, and then rounding the spine right back down. See how the legs move back? They have to. That's just how the movement works, good. You're gonna do two more here, exhale and you're gonna scoop. My legs don't lift, thighs are nice and calm here. Good, reach it forwards over that beach ball. Arms reach forwards, there's a little protraction of the shoulders here, and then they sort of naturally will retract as you go down. Your arms are gonna get warm here with this little tiny um, 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 warm up. Uh, do that again one more time, and then the arms are gonna get super warm. So guys, a lot of you will struggle from here to here. Again, use that ball if that's you. Take a breath, exhale, come up a little more, and use that breath, pause. Exhale, curl it up. So you're gonna work on that roll up while you're here. Stretching out that back, ooh, feels so good. And then slowly rolling it back down. Now, I did say that this is a little bit of sides today. So on the next one, I'm gonna have you guys roll it up, reach the arms towards the right, squeeze the obliques. Now, for a lot of you, that left leg is gonna wanna lift. You're gonna try to keep it down as best you can. Again, use a ball and just stop here and come right back up. Just learn how to articulate the spine one vertebrae at a time. Now we're gonna take it over to the other side. Inhale, exhale. This is my harder side for sure. And then rolling it up, reaching it forwards. Good, and then you're gonna go back down. I'm trying to go nice and slow so I can get that nice stretch in my spine. Exhale. Good, and then reach it back. And arms can go back here. Exhale, curl. 
breathe, get that stretch in your spine. Should feel so nice, you guys. I love the stretch on the way down too. And roll it up, let's do one more each side because as I'm coming up, I'm trying to again articulate. So I'm not like popping up in one piece. There's this articulation. I'm trying to get my spine to curl one piece at a time. Like this is a hard place to hold and then talk at the same time. Good, and you're gonna curl back down. Curl, 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 good, last one. Inhale, this is my harder side, exhale. I'm gonna try to focus, squeezing the circle will, will help with that. And roll, 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 roll. Boom, reach it forward and roll it back down. All right, so here we go. We're gonna get into the chest lift, the Pilates chest lift. But we're gonna do it with the magic circle. So you're gonna put this little soft part behind the hard part of your head, not your neck. So it's gonna go on the skull, just at the kind of the, I don't wanna say the base, a little higher than the base, kind of on that part that bumps out. Um, the alien head part. All right, so shoulders are down the back. You're gonna start to warm the abs. I know you guys are like, well, this is supposed to be like an arms workout, but this is uh, necessary because we are gonna do some prone dart. One minute here, up, down. I like to look at my hips when I'm doing this a little bit from time to time. Like you do wanna keep your head in line with the spine, but I like to see if my hips are shifting around. So start to pay attention to that. Feet are grounded, sacrum is grounded. Notice when I'm lifting, I'm not lifting high at all, right? You ever notice people that can lift really high? They're just folding in half from like the upper part of their abs. That's a, a, that's actually pretty common. I usually will teach people, okay, stop folding from there because you're already over-rounded, right? Which makes sense because people sit all day. Start to engage through here a little more and keep that pelvis grounded. So if there was like a dowel through your pelvis into the floor, it wouldn't move, right? You wouldn't be tucking. I'm maintaining a neutral spine. Now, it is okay to tuck, but for today, I want you to keep it in neutral. Okay, up and let's pick up the pace. And up, and your forearms might start to burn, and up, and down, and up. And in this position, a lot of times what I try to do is get try to get my um, back to feel equal along the mat, because of course I have scoliosis. It's like 50 degrees, I have four curves. There's like a 37 to 50, 32 in like a 10, I don't even know. Ugh, I hate it, but that's okay. I'm here to work, I'm trying to get better at it. Good, I do wear a back brace. Now, keep lifting. Oh, it's over a minute. So since it's over a minute, let's go a minute and a half, 15 more seconds. Up, down, and up, and down, and squeeze and lift. Keep going for three, two, give me one more. And now gonna, gonna go, gonna, gonna go. Gonna go in these nice circles and you're gonna alternate one direction and then go the other way. So you're trying to keep your feet from wobbling. Like I'm not moving my legs around as I do. I'm trying to just come up one direction and then the other one and then the other one. There is sort of like a little center move here. Good, keep it going, keep it going. Let's go for about, what's my math here? Let's see here. What would that make it? We're at the 55 plus five. We got 32 seconds-ish and rotate. Now your arms are meant to warm up here. So if you're feeling the forearms here, guys, good. A lot of us are very weak in our forearms. You will notice as people age, that is definitely another area that seems to get very loose, okay? On top of the knee muscles and all that other stuff that you know, so those little detailed areas, right? 10 more seconds. So you want strong forearms, strong shoulders, strong wrists. Good, keep going. I am sweating, you guys. Keep going, four, three, two. Now hold there, three, two, and then release. All right, we're done with the out warm up. That should make you happy. Take a little stretch if you want to. I'm gonna go ahead and roll up here and I'm gonna grab my circle. I was gonna do it, but I didn't wanna ruin my pack. All right, so I love this little tricep series that we're about to do, okay? You're gonna end up with your circle in your hand out to the side like this, all right? You're gonna start to just pull the shoulder back and press the circle down and then up. Shoulder down the back, squeeze and up, just like this, all right? So we're squeezing down and up. Let's start the timer at one minute and squeeze. So you should, you should, you should feel all of this all of this, all of this, all of this, your back arm line. Oh, so great. If you sit a lot, you work, you do computer stuff a lot, this is awesome. All right, so here's the deal. I may do a class in this studio soon. I might live stream it. If you're interested, find me through YouTube or through my Instagram, email me, and uh, let me know. Anyways, I thought that would be a lot of fun to have people join. Um, it's a fun experience doing classes in person 
um, and on the Zoom when it's real time um, because it's just a lot of fun. As you guys know, classes are, are great. Three, two, now you're kind of warmed up here, right? So now from here, guys, turn the circle this way, bring the circle a little bit in and squeeze and lift. Now, if you want to, and I didn't do this on the first part, but we, you could take the option of the opposite leg. So now you're gonna feel a little more bicep. So a little bit more of the whole arm working, good. You're trying to keep your hips nice and square and you're squeezing that circle. You should feel your shoulders, you should feel your core, you should feel everything working. Good, and squeeze. Now squeeze, now squeeze. Keep going, let's go for 30 more seconds and squeeze. So make sure when you're doing this, your neck is nice and long. You're not doing anything like this. That looks horrible. Shoulder back, good, and squeeze, and squeeze. And I'm actually holding the bottom of my circle and be careful that it doesn't like slide out, right? So really hang on to it. Keep going, 10 more seconds. Almost there, kind of. Huh. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Five, four, three, two. Reach the circle back. Now from here, guys, you're gonna extend and bend that little tricep. Just little press, press. Now, there's a difference if you hold the circle like this versus like this, okay? We are gonna get to do both ways. So press, press, press. Keep going, press it up and up, shoulder back and up and up and up and up and up and up and up. Press, 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 whee! All right, flying around everywhere right here. Keep going, keep going, keep going, guys. You should feel your tricep, you should feel the back of the shoulder. It's a good posture exercise. There should be no tension in your neck. 15 seconds and then we're gonna add on the uh, other version I just showed you. And then hopefully I remember all this for the other side. All right, keep going, press. Press, press, I love this, you guys. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You should feel from your elbow, Ooh, all the way up to your tricep. If you cramp, take a rest, pull the shoulder back so you can find the inner tricep. Now flip it up, press it up. And actually, you know what, for this one, do straight arm presses up, 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 up. So with the straight arm press, you're gonna feel more of the whole back. It is actually kind of hard to balance the circle, especially if you have a heavier one. All right, so I'm losing my form here, so let me pay attention to my form. Press, 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 press. 40 seconds, guys, ready? Keep it going, keep it going. You should feel how your left hand is pushing into the floor, and that's actually helping engage the X line on your back. So you should feel the back of the left shoulder, back of the, uh, the back of the left side, and all the way wrapping all the way to the right side of like sort of your middle, and lower back in a good way, not in a bad way. Plus with this thing moving up and down, you should feel the uh, tricep and serratus and all those muscles supporting your rotator cuff in the back. Press up, up, oh I love it. Up, up, three, two, and then release. All right, now from here guys, we are gonna do a lunge with a tricep lift, okay? So you're gonna put your right foot forward since we just worked the right side out. Okay, hinge forwards, and you're gonna lift the arms up and down. Now, option, you're gonna stay here, okay? If you do classes, sometimes this is called like a super lunge when you're on a machine. Okay, so you're lifting up and down, squeezing, thinking about the posture muscles here. Now, if that feels fairly easy, I'm gonna have you guys lift, lower, lift, lower, lift, there is a hinge forwards here, and if you do this really correctly, you should feel all of the back working. That, it's like, hmm, how can I explain it? It's like, 
You know, it's really hard to find your back muscles for a lot of people because we don't work them enough. Keep going. Um, so like, like a good tip I would say, let's go for 30 more seconds. A good tip here would be, think of your back as like a big, hmm, let me think about this for a second. I almost want to say like a piece of cardboard. So it's like one piece, not just little pieces, but like an entire piece so that you get the whole back to work versus just one part of your back versus just your upper. Try to think of like a pe like your back, like a piece of cardboard from your hip bone all the way up to your shoulders and that's what's working, okay? I hope that helps as a cue. Four, three, two. Now from here, lower it down. Go ahead and switch the legs. We're gonna go reverse style, okay? So you're gonna lift up that back leg and lift up and up and up and up. I'm slightly hinged forwards, good. Now you can add that little press up and down if you want to, or just hold the lunge. Maybe on this side, I'll keep the up and down. Keep going. Good. Chest is forwards. Hips are back. Sticking out the chest. There is no rounding in my shoulders here, right? Keep going. You got a full minute here. And now let's try to do it with the fingertips off to make it a little bit harder. You're going to feel that sweat coming on. Keep going. You're going to feel that, feel that heat building. Keep going. They give it like almost, like you're, basically you're just, <laughs> You're just trying to keep your back heel to your head in a nice straight line. That's it. And then you've got the arms going at the same time. Good. Keep squeezing. Notice what side squeezes harder. You're going to feel your right side is more warmed up, but just wait because when we take this to the floor, it's going to feel so good on that left side. Keep going and press. Both sides are working in each exercise. So even though the circle was only in the right hand, that left side was stabilizing you. Try to see if you can find more of the left lat muscles, left back muscles, right back muscles, middle back. Keep going. You want those nice muscles? Gosh, having scoliosis has always been, has always made it so tough to build any back muscles. I always, gosh, when I see people with those beautiful like back muscles where you can see the indentation of the um, spine. Oh my gosh, I love that so much. I've always wanted that. Um, I, because my spine is curved, won't get that. I'll get a little bit of it. Three, two, and then slowly release. Um, all right, so let's turn around. Not turn around, I'm gonna turn around. I don't know why I said that. Take that circle out to, you know what? Yeah, let's take out to the start. We'll start from the top for this part. All right, so now start here, shoulder down the back and squeeze. So all I'm doing here is I'm just pulling the shoulder back and squeezing down. I'm not squeezing like this at all. Shoulder is back, squeeze, squeeze. And you should feel, remember I said it's about the sides, you should feel your sides working here as well. Shoulder back, squeeze, 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 squeeze. Keep going, squeeze it, squeeze it. Press it down, let that feel good. I love this one because for me, I don't know what it is about this down push, but when I push down, I could feel like that whole line of my back working and squeeze and squeeze. Guys, it's so hard. I mean, I've gone in and out of shape many times throughout my career from either surgeries or like this hand injury that I had. And it really blows when you're not at your fullest and then you start to get out of shape and you don't wanna wear your workout clothes. All I can tell you is one, be thankful for what you do have. Okay, I'm gonna add that leg three, two. Now I'm gonna bring that arm forward and I'm gonna squeeze and squeeze and squeeze. Um, but you, your other option is to not do it and then that's not a very good option. I think a lot of people, they get stuck in the one spot that they're in. So they see that they're, they've gotten out of shape for whatever reason and it's just so unmotivating so you just don't wanna do it. But it's not about, that moment in time, it's about your goal, right? It's about your goal of trying to become healthier, recognizing that doing that can take three months to really start to see the results. If you work out the right way and you're not doing anything like fatty, like a fad, F-A-D, fad, and you're not doing something that's um, short term, you're gonna be, you're gonna see the results long term. And you have to be patient, right? Patience is a virtue. There's a reason that they say that. Good, and maybe I'll add a pulse of the leg. So just be patient with yourself and squeeze. I love this. I'm really feeling the back muscles, guys. I love it, love it, love it. Um, and be consistent. Consistency is the number one thing. You could do it every day for two weeks and then stop, no results. You could do it every other day for two months. You will see the results. Keep going. Three, two, woo. All right, now take that arm back. This is gonna be a minute and a half. You're gonna bend and stretch and bend and stretch and bend and stretch and bend and stretch. Keep going and stretch, shoulders back. 
head in line with the spine. I'm gonna add that leg lift again. Make sure when you're in this position that you're not leaning over to that uh, left side. If you are, I recommend keeping that right leg down. Okay, keep pressing. So, um, don't be discouraged. You know, I think a lot of times our fitness industry is so, it's just kind of gotten bad because we put all these expectations on people and, um, you know, realistically it's hard. You know, people have lives, they have kids, but use people that you resonate with as motivation to do better. That's what I did. You know, I'm very thankful for the trainers that I had who were in excellent shape, who were, you know, doing, uh, walking the walk and, you know, doing it all because it inspired me to be better. And that's what you should use it for. You shouldn't use it as a way to compare yourself, right? Keep going and press and press. I mean, I could, I could do that too as someone with scoliosis, you know, and sit there and just complain that that's boo-hoo, but you don't do that. You try to do what you can, you know, keep going, 10 seconds, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Woo! This is so good, guys. Five, four, three, two. Now you're going to flip it up. Straight arm. Woo! Straight arm. Straight arm. This side's kind of funny because my thumb with the surgery that I had, ooh, that does feel so funky. I'm going to try the best I can. All right, so up. Straight arm. Up. 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 Good. And press it up. But what I can tell you is when you start to see a little bit of results, you get motivated, right? And so, you know, you just have to, you know, think about where you want to spend your time. You know, if it's important to you to be in shape, then do it. Put the videos in and do it. You can't half-ass this. This is one thing you can't half-ass, okay? You guys just put the work in and get it done. You got 50 seconds here and press. Gosh, I love this so much. It feels so good. Woo, it's burning. It's burning. Keep going now. We've got these, we've got these, um, holds that we're gonna do in a second with the magic circle. Good, keep pressing, keep pressing. So this is one of those slow burn sculpting workouts, guys. And press, and press. And you guys know how much I like to focus on individual body parts in addition to full body workouts because that's how I get in shape. I don't just do one thing, I do a lot of different things. And a lot of it is these little kinds of movements to help me keep my form in check so that my weight's not too heavy, but that I can sculpt and build that lean muscle, which is more functional in for most people, unless you're lifting bodies out of the water. Um, keep going, four, three, two. All right, release that. So from here, guys, we're gonna lay on our stomach. Okay, and I'm actually gonna turn around here. Um, you know, like there's a time and a place for heavy lifting and all that stuff, and there was a purpose for things like CrossFit and all that stuff, um, which was basically for people who have demanding jobs where they have to lift stuff, they can build that type of muscle. And that's important too. But for most of us, we just need our functional muscle. And I didn't tell you something. If you have these small uh, muscles built, you're gonna be really better off. So just lifting and lowering to warm up the back. Two more. Okay, now we're gonna do a hold. Oh God, this is gonna be so hard. Ready, lift, hold. 10, nine, I'm pulling out in the circle. Eight, pull it out. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, rest. You ready, set, lift, pull the circle open, elbows are slightly bent, 10, we're doing five of these, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, lower, ready, set, lift, 10, nine, eight, seven, side plank is coming up, five, four, three, two, lower, I think we have two more, right? You guys should feel how all those warm up really got the back muscles to engage, five, four, three, two, lower down, last one here, ready? Lift up, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and rest. If that was too much on your back, guys, you can do a standing up, same exact thing. You're just pulling the circle out, shoulders back. All right, so now we're gonna do a little bit of side plank. All right, oopsies, my pack. So we're gonna do a little bit of side plank. Hopefully it didn't detach, let's just make sure. We're gonna take that circle. Let's start off on our knees. So for a lot of you, this is gonna be plenty. It's just to squeeze the circle and then release. Okay, that's gonna be a lot of work for a lot of you. Now, if you feel like you have it in you, you can lift the hips as you squeeze, lower and lift and lower. Watch that when you squeeze your balance so that it doesn't slide out, right? And then for some of you, you can go here. Okay, so I'm gonna lift, squeeze, lower. Lift, squeeze, lower. Just like so, shoulder down the back, side plank, both sides are working, right and left. Uh-oh, my nose is itching. I think I got a dog hair. There we go. <laughs> Good, and lift. Totally worth it, dogs are totally worth the hair. Good. I mean, I know there's hypoallergenic ones too. 
Good, keep going and squeeze and squeeze and up and down, up and down. You're gonna feel that nice burn, guys. Keep going, good, up and down. Four, three, two, good. Now from here, guys, I'm gonna have you guys just hold for 10. Nine, eight, maybe a top leg is up. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and then release that for one quick second. Okay, we're gonna do some holds here with the circle. Okay, you're gonna bring the arms out and hold. 30 seconds is started. Now I know this seems stupid, but these holds make you so, so stinking strong. Okay, I've done a lot of holds in my career. Soft bend of the elbows might be good and a little squeeze, a little hug. So you don't have to kill the circle here. My circle's not crazily squeezed. Um, Uh-oh, I lost track of time. Eh, let's just call it five seconds. Four, three, two. Now you're gonna reach it up a little higher, little squeeze and hold. Good, hold it. Hold it, you're five seconds in, 25 to go. We're gonna go side plank on the other side coming up, okay? I just had to add these folds in between. They're kind of a break. You're gonna be surprised how you feel tomorrow with this exercise. Make sure both hands, guys, are squeezing equally so that you're not using your right side more than your left. You should feel all of these guys light up on both sides fairly equally. Good, you got five seconds. Four, make sure my form is good. Three, shoulders down the back. Two, head is long. Okay, now from here, side plank on the other side. I'm gonna go ahead and lay, lay on my right side and I'm gonna lift up. So take the option that you took before, unless this side feels stronger. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take the full option again. <laughs> what? All right, so we're gonna lift up. I think not entertain, huh? Now we're gonna lift the hips up and down. Press up and down. Head in line with the spine. Good. <laughs> He's bringing his toy, that's so cute. All right, keep pressing up and down and up and down lift lower lift oh he's so cute buddy what you got there he's got his little dinosaur bring it over good so as i press up i'm squeezing my right oblique shoulders are down the back i'm pressing the circle down bring it over here and lift i wish you guys could see his face it's so cute get your get your toy you got about let's see here 15 more seconds a little bit more than that just a few seconds more than that good lift squeeze and lower Lift and lower, lift and lower, good. Keep going, you got about five seconds, four, then you gotta hold, three, two, now just hold it there, hold, hold, hold. Maybe the leg comes up, hold it, six, five, four, three, <laughs> and then release. Buddy, you're so cute, you're so cute. I'm gonna do it for you real quick, ready? Out, good boy, go get it, all right. So grab your circle. I had to throw it for him. He was like begging me. All right, let's go. Uh, for this one, let's go arms up. Then you're going to hold. Elbow slightly bent. So we're going to go for like about a minute hold. This is one of those exercises that's not going to be like a very calorie burning one, but it is going to work all the back. So when you're squeezing, guys, if you're killing that circle, you're going to feel it in your neck and shoulders. Okay, we don't want that. One shoulder down the back. Just enough of a squeeze. Just enough of a squeeze to feel the back. There's a time and a place for hard workouts. I guess this is also a hard workout, but I, what I'm saying is those crazy monkey business workouts where you're just pushing yourself through it. Um, and there's a time and place for this nice organized sort of movement. I lost track of uh, time here, so I'm just gonna say we have 30 more seconds and call it good. All right, so you're gonna hold here, shoulders down the back, head up, and just hang out here. And I'm just gonna check out my form in the mirror. Good, and just keep holding. Think about your posture, guys. You know, my ribs used to stick out so much. By the way, do you guys feel your sides here as you're holding so much all through there, right? Keep holding, keep holding, keep holding. Shoulders are down the back. Let's hold it for about 15 more seconds, guys. And then we're gonna do little pulls. Keep holding, shoulders are gonna burn. Keep going. Rocky's <laughs> just over there squeezing his side. Buddy, you're so cute, bring it here. Keep holding, four, three, two. Now you're gonna pull the circle here towards your head, squeeze, release, reach, pull it in, squeeze, release, let's do eight more, pull it in, squeeze, up, good, down, squeeze, open, up, down, squeeze, open, up, down, so we're getting the sides, back, good, four, squeeze, open, up, when I say sides, guys, even the sides of those armpits are considered sides, sides, Good, I think we have two more, I think. Two, good, last one, squeeze, lift, up. Now a little squeeze, squeeze, 10, nine, you guys feel that? Eight, 
You should feel your back working. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and then release. Okay, so one of my favorite uh, exercises, the magic circle, is the crisscross abs, where you're gonna put, where you're gonna put, where you're gonna put your right thigh on the circle. You're gonna take your uh, left elbow onto the front of the circle there on that pad. Hands behind your head, hips are grounded. Oh man, this is gonna be hard. Now, for this squeeze here, guys, instead of just being like, oh, I'm gonna squeeze it, I'm gonna squeeze it. <laughs> I want you to think that you're just, and then that's what squeezes it up, and then release, and then release. All right, so that's the work that I want to see. And squeeze. Shoulders down the back, squeeze. Good, and squeeze. And, and, good, head in line with the spine, just like this. Just booming and grooving, guys. And squeeze. Obliques are working. Shoulders are down the back. Keep going. And keep going. And keep going. And keep going. And squeeze. I love the feeling of this. Keep going. 30 seconds left. Squeeze. Good. My oblique is working here and squeeze so it's just the the oblique just squeezing you should feel that nice deep work this is the kind of work guys that will undo that tightness that you guys do in other workouts where you're just throwing stuff around you're creating tight patterns we're now using our breath little squeeze little release squeeze and release and you're gonna feel how lovely that feels all the way through here. Um, a lot of people always say, oh, I'm doing all these workouts. I'm working out, doing two workouts a day. I just did this challenge. I don't see any results. Um, guys, here's the thing. More doesn't mean better. Form is everything. Now, little knee in, everything. I cannot stress that enough. I can sit there, do the craziest, sweatiest workouts. I'm not gonna be in fit. That's what I used to do. Okay, I found Pilates. Pilates taught me form, quality of movement, control, which is really cool because when you start to do other things, you realize, especially things like martial arts, how important that quality of your movement and technique really is. And that applies to sports, it applies to everything. Keep going, 10 seconds. I'm just pulling my knee in here, guys. Little squeeze in, little squeeze in. So if you feel this in your hip flexor, guys, you're not ready for this exercise. Okay, you're gonna set the circle down. You're gonna put your feet on the ground and just hold this little crunch position. Otherwise, you're gonna keep going for five, four, three, two. Now from here, guys, I'm gonna have you guys take the circle on the right side of your thigh and you're gonna rotate, squeeze, and release squeeze and release squeeze and release eight lift seven lift six lift five lift four lift i told you it was about the sides three good two hold and pulse pulse ten nine eight stay stable right we're not i'm not bouncing around because of the circle five four three two and release Okay, other side guys, we're almost there. Hands behind the head, chest up, exhale, lift, squeeze, and lower. So form guys is everything. The people that you see who walk around and are in good shape physically, they look good, their posture is good. Either they've been taught really good form or they're just really lucky and know how to move their bodies well. And there are people like that. And I think that's so cool. I've had to teach myself. I was in a back brace for five years and um, you know, lots of stuff, atrophies, connections, fascial lines, things stop working well, and you gotta get it back. You know, I'm so glad that I started when I did, and squeeze, and I think sometimes when you have an injury or you have an issue like that, you learn so much. You got 40 seconds here, and little squeeze. So it's just a little, I'm just, I'm not trying like, I'm not like trying to kill it, guys. I'm not like, like that. I'm like, just a little squeeze, little squeeze, little squeezes. I love it. Little squeeze. Feels very like um, giving back to your body when you do this. Very corrective. It's gentle. Good. Keep going. Got about eight seconds here, or sorry, 15 before we add the leg. I think I may have gone a little long on the other side. Let's keep going. <clears throat> keep going. 
building those small deep muscles guys to protect your spine now ready knee in and out shoulders down the back knee in and out little teeny tiny ones in and out in and out i feel guys every time i'm pulling in like the muffin top which is only the only word i can use to describe it which is just those areas around the hips right in 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 and let's go for about 25 more seconds really focusing on the thoughtful movement of pulling that leg in from the abdominals from the sides connecting our leg back to our obliques right keep going and keep going and keep going you got about 15 more seconds i am loving all of this so much right now it is nice to teach myself workouts in the videos like not that i'm teaching myself but meaning i'm my own instructor um and just because it gets to reinforce what I do know. And I love that. Four, three, two, hold three, two, and then release. You know, I always tell people if there's something that you're really good at and you really enjoy, place that circle on your thigh and you're gonna squeeze. So guys, it can go this way or this way. So I, maybe I'm gonna go this way. This way. Okay, so pick whichever you feel most comfortable with and lift, squeeze, and lower. And lift, squeeze, and then lower. And um, if you feel that there's something that you really are good at, I say go for it because we need good people in their professions, people who are passionate about what they do. Guys, as I'm lifting, my leg is pressing out on that circle. I'm squeezing. Leg is pressing out on that circle and I'm squeezing. So you're going to feel the lats, the, the triceps, the abs just connect like crazy. Keep going. In. Good. And 30 more seconds. Keep going and squeeze i think we did a hold did we not yeah we did we did a hold and a pulse with the arm only good keep going we got about 20 seconds lift and i love this because it's very stabilizing for the lower body and lift and lift <laughs> rocky is so bored of me right now buddy i'm almost done keep going it's so beautiful out we're gonna go hang out here after this five four three two now hold that little squeeze squeeze this side's so much harder for me to control. Get that outer glute to engage a little bit to control it. You got 20 seconds, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. You're squeezing with the obliques, you're squeezing with the arm. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Almost there, guys. Almost there, about 10 seconds. Squeeze, chin away from the chest, squeeze. Trying to so hard to keep this side still. This side's way harder for me to keep still. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Three, two, oh, and then release. Awesome job, you guys. That's all I got for you. There's no finale with this one. It's just a nice side arms. You know, I always tell people, if you can get through this workout without any breaks, you're gonna be having some nice sculpted arms. Pay attention to the cues. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Let's go and stretch this out real quick. So I'm just gonna have a little seat on my heels. I'm gonna take my, uh, uh, let's actually do the one where you go across. I feel like I could use that a little more. Take your left arm across your body and just kind of rotate over to the right and hold and then as i'm rotating my shoulders to the right i'm sort of looking over to my left getting a nice stretch throughout my body here 10 more seconds um but if you are watching these videos make sure you subscribe um been posting a new video each week um take your time here and then switch sides anyways guys awesome job